Ready for more shortcuts? Well, we will give you five more. This is the second part of Microsoft Word shortcuts. Arlene here. Welcome to Burn to Learn. How do you quickly select text in a document? Well, let's begin with shortcut number one. Double click on a word to automatically select the word itself. Now click on it three times and you'll select the whole paragraph that the word belongs to. How to do a quick zoom in or out? Shortcut number two is the key. If you use a scroll mouse, just hold down the control key while you scroll up or down your mouse with the scroll button. In case you aren't using a mouse but your mouse pad instead, also hold down the control key while you gesture in or out with your fingers on your mouse pad and your document will be zoomed in or out as you wish. How about quickly changing a word or a selected text to upper or lower case? Shortcut number three is the one. Place yourself at the beginning of the word or selected text to be modified and press down the Shift plus F3 keys. Every time you do so, the caps of the text will change, either the first letter of it to upper or lower case or the whole text to upper or lower case. So handy, huh? Laptops and computer keyboards tend to be slightly different, so if the Shift key doesn't work for you, try the Function button and the shortcut for it would be shift plus function plus F3. Want more handy shortcuts? Please take a second after watching this video to subscribe to our channel. Let's quickly delete whole words using shortcut number four. Place your cursor at the end of the word to be deleted and press down the control plus backspace keys. This is very useful when we want to eliminate whole words instead of deleting them letter by letter. And today's final shortcut, number five, is to change the spacing between lines format. So by pressing down Ctrl plus one, we set single spacing. Ctrl plus two sets double spacing. And Ctrl plus five sets 1.5 spacing between lines. Such handy shortcuts when using Microsoft Word, right? Now you know five more to add to your knowledge list. Stick around for more handy shortcuts in future videos.